So they adjusted the trail here because there was a big uh, washout of stuff that sent us in a different direction here. You can see all this, man, it's just incredible how much got washed out and how it got all messed up over here. I kept them dry. <laughs> I kept them dry. I unfortunately did not. <laughs> I caught a caught a little bit of the uh, the muck. All right, so for those of you that have uh, watched a few of my videos, if you guys watched the uh, San Bernardino Divide Trail, uh, if we were to take the Dollar Lake um, portion at this fork, that would take us to Dollar Lake and then ultimately to Do Dollar Lake Saddle. And uh, that hits into the uh, San Bernardino Divide Trail where we were uh, at last, uh, what was it, uh, November or so? November. Yeah, so uh, pretty exciting. Today though, we're gonna be going to Dry Lake. Uh, so we're gonna be going to the left over here on this fork. But I think we're gonna probably stop and grab a little bite here next to the creek. But after that, it's uh, not too much further. Uh, we got about four uh, switchbacks, I think Matt was saying. Four switchbacks and then and like, long straightaway. Yeah, long straightaway and we're gonna be at, uh, we're gonna be at Dry Lake. Just look at that. Wow. Alrighty, so it started hailing on us, little tiny bits of hail. You can hardly see it, but yeah, it's coming down. The clouds aren't that bad, so it's probably just gonna pass us, but uh, yeah, man, how about that? <laughs> Always getting weather lately. Yeah, seriously. Sunny California, indeed. <laughs> I think Matt noticed that it's coming from the clouds behind us, which are vastly bigger than the ones that were in front of us. We initially thought it was the ones in front of us, but uh, now we're looking at them and they're moving in this direction, in the same direction we're going, so we may be getting a little bit more hail than we expected actually after all. There we go. Dry lake is full. We got all this wind and hail. What a day to be up here. What do you say, Matt? Yeehaw! Oh yeah. Whew. This is the good stuff. Now I gotta get my rain stuff on. <laughs> it's starting to really come down. Just look at this guys That right there last year If I can uh, find the video or a picture, I'll uh, I'll bring it in here, but that was completely barren and dry This is something very special and unique Not we're not gonna see this very often here in Southern California. So the fact I was able to see it is actually pretty doggone cool You know, there's the top of San Gorgonio Just packed with snow on the backside over here. Amazing. Look at this. Absolutely amazing out here. Oh, right here's got a nice um I've got the backpack on me, my food's with me, and all my water stuff is with me, so. I'm gonna go filter some water. You wanna know, flip that hair back. <laughs> We're here in camp. Just relaxing, it's actually pretty nice out over here. Um, for as bad as it was when we pulled up to the lake. Uh, it's gotten pretty calm over here. It's gotten very beautiful. Ranger says that there might be some uh, weather coming in later tonight, so tomorrow could be a little bit interesting when we leave. But, uh, yeah. Oh, then I'm going to have some coffee. It is starting to get cold here. I want to end up putting my uh, base layer on. 
still need to put on my uh, my base layer on my legs, but I'm just about there, Matt. I'm telling you. Seriously, I keep getting that cold air on my legs. You said in your last video, old man Farisian. Yeah, old man Farisian. <laughs> Gerontol juice, the whole nine it's yards. Right yeah. <laughs> this coffee's keeping me warm, but not for long. All right, so here's our camp. Got the uh, ultimate right over here. And then the other three, they brought Lunar Solos. So we got Matt's Lunar Solo, and then Jason's Lunar Solo. And over in this direction, we've got Monica's Lunar Solo. All right, so for dinner number one, I'm going to be having Texas Mesquite uh, chicken salad. This is a cold one. Um, I didn't bring any tortillas with it, but that's okay. I'm just going to eat it straight up. Uh, I got two packets of mayo I'm going to add. And uh, now we're going to be grubbing. <laughs> that is good. Okay, so check this out. I completely forgot my beanie again. So what I'm doing right now is I'm rocking my East Coast airport worker outfit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just got back from DC. I feel like I've seen this guy, like what I look like right now. I feel like I've seen him like multiple times when I looked outside the airplane. I even got the uh, big pants and everything. So, I mean, it is what it is. I guess next time I should remember my, my beanie so I won't look so silly right now. But, uh, dinner number two is in the works. Um, I got some chili mac and beef that's uh, uh, steeping right now. And I'm going to cap it off with some peppermint tea. Well, here we are. It is morning. It was pretty cold last night. My tent was just a condensation machine last night. It was incredible how, uh, how wet everything got. But uh, starting to pack up already. I'm going to make myself some breakfast here. Matt and I are going to be heading out pretty early. Just starting up heating some water. I'm going to make myself a mountain house um, a breakfast skillet. It's half of a breakfast skillet. Right there. What do you say, Matt? It's been a good trip. <laughs> it's been a great trip. This view is absolutely insane, too. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this in the video. But if you look up there, you could see where snow is broken off and come down the mountain. Wow, I would not want to be at the bottom of that thing. Just cross the stream right over here. I'll show you guys in a second. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it just, uh, it's amazing out here. It's, uh, it's crazy to think that we're in June and there's still snow everywhere. Obviously not at this elevation, but up higher, yeah, there's snow everywhere. Yeah, really, this, this has been one of, one of the most fun trips ever. We've come to pretty much the end of our uh, journey here. Uh, it's been one heck of a fun time. Got one last look at the mountains back behind us. We're out there in the uh, back corner. We're gonna see in a month, stay tuned. In a month, we're gonna see if we can even get up there. A lot can change in a month. This is Southern California. And uh, as crazy as our winter has been, uh, summer can be upon us before we know it. So in a month, we'll see if we can even get up to those mountains as we uh, do our San Gorgonio 4th of July trip. So it's gonna be pretty fun. Stay tuned.